All right, guys. This is our $5,000 BMW 335i. Uh, fairly clean. Uh, besides this driver's seat, it's probably the worst thing. It looks like it ripped for whatever reason, and they tried to put some duct tape on it to keep it from ripping. And uh, yeah, just not uh, not looking very hot. Um, it is a six speed. You got the six speed, you got three pedals, no nav. So it's kind of a stripper car, but it does have a sunroof, beige interior. But uh, the paint is really good. Um, it's a 2007, it's got 150,000 miles on it. We got it because it needed some injectors. We're gonna be pulling out the old index tens. This thing's had injectors before. We know because it has some index tens, which I'll show you once we get them out. I got Mitch here working on that stuff. Uh, the new injectors are right here. The new updated part number from BMW. We're doing all six, we got all six down there so uh just kind of uh let mitch do all the little easy work pull all the lines pull the injectors out and then uh, we'll show you guys car had a misfire for cylinder number two and cylinder number five when i cleared the codes uh it would run good for about 30 minutes and then cylinder number two would always come back first um after pulling the spark plugs i could see that cylinder number two spark plug was getting pretty fouled out probably having a lot of fuel just drip on it so uh yeah we're uh we're just gonna do the injectors and uh it should fix our issues i did uh new spark plugs as well and coil packs while I was in there just because all the old stuff was looking old. We'll get these injectors out of there and then uh, she should run fucking titties. Okay, so here are all six injectors. As you can see, they're all dash 10s, which means they're index 10s. So if we compare that to our new injectors, look at what we got here. We've got a index 12, so dash 12s, courtesy dash 12s and the old dash 10s. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Number two and number five were the worst. When we pulled it out, number two is just super wet around the tip, probably because it's dribbling. Number five, super wet as well. Um, the others also kind of look similar, but uh, this one was straight dribbling, as you can see when we took it out, out the tip. So that one was shot. We're gonna go ahead and throw these new uh, series 12s in. You can see right here, uh, we got all of the injectors out. The first five just basically came out really easy with wiggling and pulling them up with my finger. Number six was a little bit more difficult. So what I did is took a line and just threaded it on the top right here and just kind of used it as a little handle to wiggle it back and forth and pull it up uh, as well as trying to get my fingers under it. But um, basically you shouldn't need that special tool that yanks them up, should be good. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and throw these new injectors in now. Let's go. All right guys, so here we have the new injectors. I'm, uh, I got my little list here. I'm taking this number right here and I'm writing it down on my list so that I can go and code these into the car um, or register them. I should say it's really called register. We also got these brand new decouplers which just slide right over the injector, slide it over the injector, stuck a little bit right here and then just push right on and clip on. And then this right here is a protective cover which we need to remove first. Kind of just wiggle it it's tight, very tight and then they come off. So we've done that. This number is 605182. So I'm gonna take that and write it down on my little list here. I'm gonna put it in number five spot. So I'm working back to front. So 605182. Take it over to the car. You can see I've already got one nice new injector there in the back. Leave these on or take them off once they're in the car. It doesn't really matter. You got your coupler on there and your tip cover off. Kind of just drop them down. There is a little key spot on them. I'll show you on the next one. You just gently push them in till they seat flush. And grab the next four injectors. So this number is 588201 going in the four spot. We're gonna go ahead and wiggle this tip cover off. Take that off if you want. Grab our new decoupler, coupler on there. And I've also gone ahead and wiped out the pores inside the cylinder head, inside of here. You guys wanna take a look? I've already gone ahead and wiped down inside of there where the injector's gonna seat. And so we're gonna go ahead and take this new injector and uh, you can see this little key right here. It's a little tang hanging off there. It actually keys down right in the injector hole towards the coil pack. So they go facing the coil pack. So I'm gonna go put this one right now in number four. Take a little bit of pressure to get them seated. But once they seat, they're good. Probably actually good to just pull these off. I just put them in. Put the number down, cupper on, pull this bad boy off of there. Cut my finger. These little edges are razor sharp. The little tip covers are razor sharp. Probably worth uh, doing that. Our last, the last injector. Right 
it is. So now what we're gonna do, take our lines, blow them out real quick. Make sure they're nice and blown out. Star lines. If you like this video, be sure to check out the next one. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe and like the video. It helps a lot. Thanks and see you in the next one.